Hey friends and welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas slash Happy Holidays depending on what you celebrate. By the time you guys see this video it will be so close to Christmas which is so exciting because I personally love Christmas so much so I of course had to do a Christmas movie theory this year. So I decided that we would do a theory all about my favourite Christmas movie of all time Home Alone. So today we will be discussing the theory that Kevin McCann Alice's dad, aka Mr. McAllister, is a member of the mob. So if you are interested in that theory, then just keep on watching. So if you are a big fan of Home Alone like me, or if you're not a big fan and you've just seen the movie, you would probably notice that the McAllisters are extremely wealthy. They live in an amazing house in an amazing neighborhood, and they have enough money to take the entire family on two holidays like it's nothing. So they obviously have some money. But how exactly do they have this money? Well, it's never actually said. In the movie, it's never stated what the parents do for a living. And in the novel adaption of Home Alone, all that's said is that Mr. McAllister works in business, which is extremely shady. When you say someone works in business, that usually means they're working in dodgy business. So the very first time we meet Mr. McAllister is when Harry, the thief, is dressed as a policeman and is scoping out the house. Mr. McAllister goes over to the cop and the first thing he says is, am I in some kind of trouble? Which is not normally what a normal person would jump to. Which is leading people to think that he is in fact in the mob or in some kind of dirty business. Because a normal person does not jump straight to, am I in some kind of trouble or something. And in this scene we can also see it by his facial expressions and his body language language that he is on edge and is extremely defensive. And furthermore, in this scene where the children are talking to Harry, who they believe is a real policeman, they are all extremely rude to him. And they're not taking him seriously, so they've therefore been raised to view the police as someone to mess around with, to pester, and ultimately to ignore. They have not been taught to treat the police as if they are a figure of authority. More evidence to Peter McAllister being a member of the mob is that when Harry and Marv are deciding on where to rob, they literally go to this neighborhood for the McAllister's house and they call it the Big Tuna, which is weird because just from a quick look at the house, even in the movie when we see the inside of the house, we don't really see any valuables laying around and Harry and Marv have only seen the outdoor part. So why are they specifically targeting this house and literally only targeting this neighborhood because of the McAllister's house? So this could be a remnant of the original storyline where Uncle Frank actually orchestrated the robbery and told Harry and Marv to rob the house. This obviously is no longer the storyline in Home Alone, but it was originally. However, this storyline was scrapped pretty quick, so I don't believe that it is just a remnant of the original storyline because they wouldn't leave it in there like that. Therefore, the real reason why they are targeting this house and the, why they are literally going to the neighborhood just to target this house is because they know that Mr. McAllister is in fact a member of the mob or a high level criminal ring and they know that inside the house there will be a lot of valuables and money. So now back to Mr. McAllister himself. When he finds out that Kevin is home alone, he's not happy but he's not extremely stressed, probably because he has been in extremely difficult situations like this before and knows that everything will eventually be alright. And because he knows that he is a member of the mob and no one would mess with his kid because then he would bring down the full force on them. This would also explain how Kevin was able to fight off the robbers so easily, really, like he just about killed them. This is because Mr. McAllister, a member of the mob, had trained his family how to survive in these situations. Explaining again why Mr. McAllister wasn't too concerned when he found out that Kevin was home alone. Lastly, the McAllister family has some interesting family traits. Firstly, the mom is really emotionally cold, who is always saying really mean things to her eight-year-old son. Buzz is a straight-out psychopath, but it looks like he is actually being set up to follow in his father's footsteps. Uncle Frank is clearly a crook of some sort. Although he didn't orchestrate the criminal acts that went on in the movie, he definitely has a shady past just from the way he acts. And lastly, Kevin is totally fine with murdering two people. Sure, they were attacking his house, but he is totally fine with murdering them. And that, my friend, is all of the evidence that Mr. McAllister is a member of the mob. And honestly, 
I believe it. It fills in a lot of unexplained holes in the movie and makes a lot of sense to me. So if you guys agree with this theory, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you liked this video, also give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload two times a week. I upload a movie based video every Friday slash Saturday and I upload a DIY slash lifestyle video every Tuesday slash Wednesday depending on where you live. And if you want to see more of my face, I am on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. My links are down below and on the screen right now. And that is it. I will see you guys on Tuesday slash Wednesday and have a Merry Christmas. Bye guys. Oh, my ear is burning. I really shouldn't. I like literally cannot wear hoops because <laughs> story time. When I got my ears pierced, first time they did them, they did it like, I think like that. So I had to get them re-pierced like that. But then this ripped into one hole on this ear. So now I'm scared that it's going to fully rip down. So I literally never ever wear hoops unless I'm filming a video or like taking photos or something just because I know they'll be fine but I never wear hoops out because I'm terrified and right now look at how red my ear is because it's not used to it. Whew. Beauty is pain, beauty is pain.